Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today will be the final part of Joanna Bassford's Enchanted Forest and we will be doing a picture of a map and we will continue on with this page here. I have already started this part here and this little deer here. I did this part in a gold scribblish gel pen and I've just been doing this deer in 104 in the round proof furnace and I'm just going to do the bottom of the belly in the same colour so how is everybody today? I'm doing fine I've just been chilling for the past two days literally doing absolutely nothing Guys, because if you guys didn't know, um, I went away last week and my feet just swelled up so bad that I couldn't even walk, so that's why you couldn't see any uh, videos on the Saturday because I was going to do a video on the Saturday, but my feet were that bad I couldn't even get out of bed, like I was literally bed bound. This part, this colour that I'm going in with is 022 in the Peak Fainer as well. It was just really bad on the Friday when I came home. It was because either the heat was affecting my feet or just the amount of walking I was doing, I literally didn't even have a rest day. During your own holiday, you have like a, at least one rest day. Yeah, I didn't have one of them. I just kept on walking and walking and walking. It was just so annoying to that guy. Really annoying. But, you know, I really enjoyed the actual holiday because I never spent time with my sister or my mum anymore. Like, my mum's always either too busy in work, or my sister's too busy in work. They just don't really have time for just us. So it was a really nice, girly little weekend away. Well, a week away, weren't really a weekend, was it, guys? And I've never took a break off YouTube, and that was the first time I ever did. And to be honest, guys, I did actually miss you. I really, really miss you. Really miss you guys. Why did the door the same colour as this colour that I've got in my hand? And then the rest of it's going to be in gold as well. I'm feeling. Are you like me where you just go with whatever colour you're feeling? Or do you actually plan out your colours in your pictures? Like sometimes I plan my colours to be honest guys, sometimes I do, but most of the time I pick and hope for the best, you know, like. Nine times out of ten it looks alright, just that one percent of the time you're like, oh god, what have I done? And then you try and fix it and it looks even more of a hot mess than you started with. Oh, I've had them pictures. I'm doing both the same colour as well. There's a lot of brown <laughs> in this. I'm going to do the, I'm going to call them bird houses. I actually don't actually know what these mini houses are. But I'm just going to do them block colour. So it's like this colour. And I'm also going to do the branch in the colour and the acorns bottom in the same colour. So this, um part will be the shortest part I'm not doing a background because I'm really terrible at them and I don't want to ruin this page so I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is
Yeah, I'm just gonna do it all in one colour, I think. I was gonna do two different shades of brown, but nah, just black colour. Today, I'm gonna do on the this brown, the 104 colour brown, which that's gonna be also some of the no called an octopus and I'll I have not done that many pages this month but that's obvious because I have been away and I didn't really do colour when I was away I was just really into the family moment you know and like I said we did a lot of walking so I had barely any time to sit down and colour anything else the weather wasn't the best, but it also never rained, which was really lucky. Because if you guys are from the UK, you guys know we always have rain. But it's been quite lovely lately, so. You got lucky, really. Yeah, I'm going to do the roofs and the doors and the other brown that I have. In the book, I will not be colouring the same colours as what I picked in this page. Because I know this is like pretty much the entire book in one page, so... I don't know where my sticky tab went for this page, but it's okay because I can just write it on the other one. And the next one, I think, is a picture of an egg. I'm just going to have a little quick check. from by number pets and farm animals and it will be this one here this page here if you can't tell what it is i will show you the answer key right now and it will be that page right there and this this page shouldn't take that long to do I have not coloured in this book in since October last year, so it's going to feel good to give it a bit more love, to be honest. So I'm just going to put that on that page so, so I can see it. And then, yeah, I'm going to put that on that page. Yeah. I'm back to colouring the houses up here. So yeah, that'll be our next page that we do, which will be kind of fun, to be honest, because I won't be really thinking about the colours. And we'll just be relaxing and colouring and chatting. It either might take two parts, that one, or one part, I'm hoping. Because it's not a double page spread like this one. I don't know why, do you want a basswood store page spread? It's take me literally forever to do. Like this is seven parts, this one. The one before the World of Wonder one, I think. That literally took me ten parts to do, but that one was really, really busy. And if you haven't checked that one out, go and check it out. It's either in my scavenger hunt one or my colour and chat playlist.
And that was a really fun page to do, even though it took me literally forever. Now this one's literally took me like six months to do anyway. But that's because I have been taking little breaks with this one, to be honest. Do you like it when I do different series and different days, or would you like me just to do the entire page, like, in a bunch of videos, do it like that, or would you like me to do it like, finish up with me, do this one, then do another video, or how would you like me to, like, do the videos, guys? I would like to know that one. Because your feedback is the most important to me. This owl is so cute. I think I called this one in the front, like a neon pink. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I called them a neon pink. <laughs> like I said, guys, this book has been literally my first ever book that I ever, ever used as an adult coloring book. So, I really got into adult coloring in like 2018, so. I haven't really been into it that long because I used to colour when I was little, like six or something. And obviously, you have phases as, as a child. And like, I went out of it for a couple of like, for a couple of years, I say, like about 10 years. And then I got really back into it, and like, when I was 16. But then I didn't really want to do anything of it until I was like 21. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to like, you know, do a YouTube about it because I really enjoy doing all art stuff. Yeah, I'm not the best, but I really enjoy doing what I do, you know what I mean? And the fact that you guys support me in everything I'm doing is really appreciated. I, I really, I really love it. I wake up literally wanting to do YouTube because you guys really inspire me and really push me. And if you guys have been with me the longest time, you guys could see and see yourselves the way my progress have been with the colouring and that. Like as you guys can see, I don't really shade or anything, which I'm fine with to be honest. I like block colouring. I really love block colouring. And that's okay if you're like me as well and you don't really like doing shading, blending. And you just love putting colour to a page. That's literally me. I just love putting colour to a page. Because that's the only way that I know that relaxes me. Like shading and blending and all that to me, from my opinion. My opinion. Is not relaxing for me. So I don't really do it. I mean they absolutely look beautiful when they're done. I've seen some beautiful pages absolute beautiful ones but that's not my style of relaxing so I don't really relax for the diamonds here I am going to use a scribble it scribble it I don't know um gel pen I have like scribblicious and scribble it pens so it's so confusing and like which one's which sometimes But yeah, like I said, like if you you're like me and you don't really like shading, but you like just colouring, just grab a pen, pencil, anything you like colouring with. Grab a book and just colour. Absolutely, just go crazy because that's what I do, and I absolutely love what I do. Absolutely love it. And sometimes you don't really need that shading or blending or anything because the artist has that many like lines and detail. Like Kirby books, for example. 
they're really detailed like really detailed books for like street coloring is absolutely perfect because they've already done all the shading and the blending and all that fun stuff for you grayscale is perfect as well like i haven't done the grayscale page in a while to be honest guys because i've just been in doing the a whip stuff needs to it's so like relieving to me lately to like finish a whip that's been a whip for like oh god knows how long like five six months so it's nice to go i've got a whip there and i'm happy about sitting in i'm gonna cut again the sleep here in l48 these don't really have names, they just have numbers, so I'm just going to say the numbers for you guys. For this one it's 007 and this is in the Zenda pencil. It's so tiny, you know guys, it's so tiny. Just thought I'd put this one as grey. I want to welcome everyone who has joined. It is brand new, and if you haven't even subscribed, just hit the subscribe button, and then take two seconds, and you'll. Hear my beautiful voice every single video. I upload three times a week, so the content is always there for you. And I try and mix and match like the days so you guys don't get bored of the same thing over and over again. But if you guys like, like, scavenger hunts we'll just do scavenger hunts if you guys like let's say um what's it like pencil color if you guys like i don't know brown paintings more just let me know and i'll just do videos for you i will get the right color in a second guys this one is 023 in the Brute Fina. And I'm just going to do this tree. And I'm going to do 003 for the owl's feet and beak and eyes. But yeah, all I want to do is wear these clothes channel for you guys. In case you guys are amazing. Um, I absolutely love you guys so much. Just going to start off with and the uh, colour pencil and this is purple and this is this 093 and I'm just going to colour in the grapes so here's a question for you guys what is your favourite fruit if you have any if you don't have any favourite fruit what's like your favourite vegetable or like your favourite foods in general like what's your go to foods I'd probably say my favourite fruit is, I think it's called a Sharon fruit. It kind of looks kind of like, I can't even think what it looks like to be honest guys. But it tastes like pear, but you can eat it like an apple. And it just tastes so sweet and oh, it's absolutely amazing. I think they're called a Sharon fruit. I'm not too sure though. I 
when we use stems uh, I like to have purple which is also a Zender pencil which is Opera Maroon is that Maroon or Maroon? I'm not too sure but it is 092 These Zender colour pencils are absolutely amazing for the price they're very dead budget friendly and the pigment is beautiful they do feel very soft as well like they're not really a hard hard pencil but they're not really like a really soft pencil they're like in the middle to be honest guys they're like a really middle pencil but they are so pigmented for like how cheap they are so i'd highly highly recommend these and they are on UK Amazon. I'm not too sure if they're on the US one, but I know they're definitely on the UK one because that's where I got these from. Now I'm going to do the mushrooms and then just do the little bit of that myself. And then we'll probably do the mushrooms. I'm going to go in with the blue fan at 009. And that is a beautiful red colour. I was going to do another finish of it me today but I seen that this was nearly done and I was like you know what I'm going to finish this off today because if you do colour in you know like a double page spread is a huge achievement to like complete so and I don't really complete a lot of double page spreads, so it was lovely to like complete this page to be honest guys. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the gold for the door. I've missed a couple of um, mushrooms up there. and then I'm going to do the bottoms in a really light yellow sorry if you can hear the dogs barking but we are near finished so and you guys know I don't really edit these videos when I colour in anyway because I like to keep it as real as possible to be honest guys but I do apologise if you do hear the dogs in the background. I don't know why they're barking. It freaks me out like this time of night. But it is like past half two in the morning and then they just bark. It's like it freaks me out so much. Because everywhere is absolutely quiet. I want to colour the bottoms in this colour which is 080. That looks a lot of heat to be honest. I never really record in the daytime because the night time for me is the quietest time to film. And for those bits I'm just going to colour in black which is 112 in the boot fans. I think, to be honest, guys, that is the last bit in the page. Yes, it is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, 
hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and follow my Facebook group page. And also give my TikTok a little bit of love. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.